nobody told me how many people were going to be here today. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not kidding. Nobody told me at all. <laughs> so people ask me all the time about the school that I went to. For a lot of people, it blows their minds when I tell them that at Rockingham Early College High School, students can earn a college degree while in high school. Most of the time, the conversation ends there with a, yeah, that's cool, I wish I did that, and we move on to another topic. However, in reality, you get so much more. When I was a sophomore, I got really into making apps and games. It was kind of an interest of mine that ended up becoming my own business a year later. I don't think that would have happened without the RCHS staff. That's where my school becomes more than just a place where you can get a degree in high school. Take a look around you. You probably see people that have worked hard to get where they are. They've earned it, and you've earned it. Now, imagine that while you were in high school, you got more than just an education. Instead, you got a skill set that allowed you to make decisions and think actively instead of passively. Now, think about where you might be now if you had just had that when you graduated high school. Every teacher at RECHS interacts with their students differently than just about everywhere else I've ever been. <clears throat> the teachers want to see you grow from both an educational standpoint and a professional one, and that changes the ball game. You need a place where a student can feel that they aren't a student. You need a place where the student can be the teacher and the teacher can be the student, where learning, both go where learning goes both ways, and that's when you realize information is pliable. Suddenly, you step out of the school and you step into the real world. Why? Because that's how real life is. You don't sit and learn from someone else all day in your career. Use information actively. RECHS gives students the skills they need to use information actively, not by just doing one thing differently, by dozens of changes to how teachers interact with students and how teachers help students prepare to make decisions on their own. When I first started at RECHS five years ago, it was only the third year the school was open. And naturally, we had communication difficulties. There was a lot of miscommunication, and we were spread out across several buildings. Within two years, we had solved pretty much all of the problems. I haven't heard a single student complain about communication in about two years now, and that's impressive for what we do. And it's that example that I think that teachers at RECHS are conveying to their students how to solve problems and communicate. As for me, I got the message. I never had a single day that I couldn't go to school with a problem and not come home with help. From help picking college classes to help testing apps that I had written, I had always had the ability to toss problems in the air and know that someone would show me how to find a solution. What this means is that when I graduated a few weeks ago, I had more than just an education. I had an entire support team that had done everything they could to help me learn to help myself, and that is something that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. Students complain all the time about how high school doesn't prepare you to do real world things, like taxes or make a resume. But that's crap. Schools don't need to teach students any of that. They just need to teach you how to teach yourself and how to figure it out on your own and how to live life in a way that you can continue to learn yourself and how you can continue to teach others. <laughs> uh, for me, I took what I got a step farther. I don't know if this is something every student can do, but every school should be preparing you how to do it. I built my own software company in high school. I've worked on hundreds of projects and have customers all over the globe. I was able to take on those problems and those, take those problem solving skills that I learned and create something useful from educational tools to fun to play games. I've also been fortunate enough to work my way into the makers community in Greensboro, um, which is known as the Forge. And if you guys don't know that, it's basically a shared workspace. Um, there are 3D printers and laser engravers. Um, and what that's led to me doing is working at part-time for a company called Fusion 3 in Greensboro, um, and we're the only 3D printer manufacturer in the area. Um, so every day I get to work with cutting-edge technology, um, and I get to help solve problems in the industry and uh, solve problems in our own designs, including designs that I've helped create. Um, and that's where the full circle is made. I wouldn't be this far if it wasn't for the skills and inspiration from Rockingham Early College High School. I'm proud to say I went there, and I'm proud to say I look forward and know that I can do it. Thank you for your time today.